Well, good morning, Jetty Rockers. Welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well, in today's video, I got a pretty interesting video for y'all. Recently, in my comment sections, I've been getting a lot, and I do mean a lot, of requests to do some catch and cooks. So it kind of got me thinking. I was going back through some old videos, and I have a lot of catch and cooks back in my early days, in my first year of doing the YouTube, that got less than a thousand views. So we're gonna look back at some of my early catch and cook videos and some recipes I actually forgot about, y'all. <music> Jetty Rockers if you could go ahead and go over to jettyrocks.com you can check out some of these cool hats that we have over there we also have some tackle available and we will have more available soon and also guys if you want to book a charter with me you can book a charter there because I am now running charters so all my information is on that website so go check it out y'all and you can be in your own very own Jetty Rocks fishing video I hope to see you guys soon out on the water with me let's get back to the video Real quick, y'all, before we get into the video, just want to give you a real quick update on Amber. She's doing a lot better, y'all. I know I've had some videos come out the past couple weeks with Amber's in the videos, but those were actually recorded before her surgery. She still can't walk on her own. She's using a walker, but we actually go today, this afternoon, to the physical therapist, and hopefully we'll get her to start walking. She is doing a lot better, y'all, and I hope hopefully she'll be fully recovered here in a couple weeks, maybe up to a month. But she's doing good y'all and thank you guys so much for all your comments in the comment section everybody asking about her it really means a lot to us y'all it really does and thank you all right y'all well our first recipe is going to be with some river whiting some nice size bull river whiting went out in the river caught some nice whiting brought them home got them all filleted up and then we made a really cool little pobo sandwich i actually want to make one of those today it looked really good Hey guys, well I'm back in the kitchen. I got some of my fish here. And I'm gonna season them real good with this Chef Paul's blackened uh, redfish magic. A lot of seasonings on them. Put them over. Season them up real good. All right, well, I'm going to do the rest of my fillets, get them all seasoned, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, I got all my fish seasoned, ready to be cooked. I also got my tomatoes all sliced up for the sandwiches. I got my romaine lettuce. I got my rolls. I also got some tartar sauce and some sriracha aioli sauce. It's going to be good. All right, I got my pan on nice and hot. I'm using no oil and no butter. Just the fish fillets. 
season with the black and red fish magic. Just lay them in there. Get as many of them as you can get in there. And these won't take long to cook, y'all. Put these in there for now. Let these cook and when they're ready I'll flip them over. Alright guys, well these are frying up pretty good. I'm gonna try to flip some over. Oh man, yeah, that looks nice. Yeah, they can break up on me a little bit. Yeah, if they break up that's okay. Some of them do. That one up there. Alright. Let these cook up a little bit. Might be able to take them off. And check to see if they're done. Oh yeah. Nice and done. Alright, well, I'm gonna take these off. I got my finished fish right here. And now it's time to put together the sandwich. Alright guys, I got the three pieces of whiting that I'm gonna use for my sandwich. I'm gonna put some of this on mine. Okay, then I'm going to put a couple pieces of lettuce. Like that. A couple pieces of tomato. And I'm going to lay my three pieces of fish in there. Whiting sandwich. Hey everybody, welcome back. Got my sandwich here. I'm very excited about eating. So let's give it a shot. Give you a close up real quick. All right, here we go. Wow, oh, that was really good. I like the sauce. Fish is excellent. Very, very good. I could have done a little bit better job of stacking it in there, but it's really good. I gotta say, that looked pretty good, y'all. That looked actually really delicious. And if I remember correctly, it was awesome. So I need to do that again soon. Make a nice little sandwich out of some river whiting because that, that looked awesome. All right, our next recipe is with some black drum. And I found this recipe online and I absolutely forgot about this and said I was going through some of the old videos last night and seen it. Totally forgot about the recipe, but I am definitely going to be doing this one again because it looked absolutely delicious. Hopefully, come on, stay hooked, Bubba. That's a nice drum. Nice one. <coughs> oh, yeah. There you go, fellas. All right, y'all, we're in the kitchen. Got my black drum fillets here. And we're gonna make today a Thai curry black drum. So we got some red curry paste. We're also gonna need some coconut milk, some chicken broth, some fish sauce, also some sugar, some olive oil, and we're also going to use some rice stick noodles. So let's get cooking, y'all. Okay, in this pan right here, I'll put a little bit of olive oil. About like that. Now, I don't know the exact measurements for everything because we got this off of YouTube. And they didn't give exact measurements. They just gave us the ingredients. So I'm kind of going to play this by ear a little bit trial and error and we'll see how it comes out all right and to the oil we're going to add the red curry paste put two nice spoonfuls through maybe just a little bit more we're going to put about that much in we're going to stir it around and we'll 
let this warm up a little bit. Alright guys, we'll end up using the whole jar. So to this we're going to add the whole can of chicken stock. I'm going to stir this around. I'm going to let this come to a, a simmer, a little small boil. And we're going to add in our fish. Alright guys, I got this coming to a slow little boil. So I'm going to go ahead and add my fish fillets in here. And we're going to let these fish fillets cook for about three to five minutes before we add the rest of the ingredients. Hopefully I can get them all in here. There we go. Let these cook for like three to five minutes. All right, these are boiling really good. So let that go. And while that's cooking, I got my water started for my rice stick noodles. As soon as that starts boiling, we'll be putting those in. And then we can add the coconut milk and the fish sauce and the sugar to this. And we'll almost be done. All right, guys, this is going to be cooking for about five minutes. So we're going to add our coconut milk. We'll add about half of it. Also going to add some fish sauce, that's about enough there, and then now the sugar. Use about two teaspoons of sugar. Alright, we're going to let that boil, finish cooking, and we'll try it out guys. My water's boiling, so we're going to try to put these in here as best I can. About like that. Alright guys, the noodles are all done. They look good. Fish is all done. So we're going to go ahead and plate this up and see what it looks like, y'all. Alright guys, I got my plate of noodles. Let's get me a nice fillet of fish here real quick. Oh boy, man. That looks awesome. Another piece right here. Some of it's falling apart. Alrighty. We'll get some sauce. Alright. That looks good, guys. I can't wait to try this. Hey, guys. I got my uh, curried black drum all done. Looks pretty good. This is the absolute first time I've ever tried something like this. I've seen the recipe on a, uh, a food um, YouTube channel. And they were in Thailand and I thought it looked really good. So we're going to try it out. Piece of my black drum. Oh, leave my... Wow. Man, that is good. Holy cow. Guys, let me tell you something. That looked pretty good. I'm definitely going to be trying that one again. But if I do remember, I didn't like the noodles that much. So I think I'm going to do it over rice or do it over some egg noodles or something like that. But the sauce itself with the black drum, that was awesome. I'm definitely going to be doing that one again. All right, y'all. Our next one is a pretty cool little dish. Y'all know I love mango snapper. One of my favorite fish to eat and one of my favorite things to eat is empanadas. And Summer and I were out fishing offshore. I got a really fat mango snapper, brought it home, and I thought, no, what better way? Let's make some mango snapper empanadas. Away from them. He ain't got me yet. Oh, what is that? Oh, a big old mango. Oh, big mango snapper. Okay, guys, that is what I'm talking about. That is a nice mang. Look at that, y'all. All right, guys, I got my uh, nice mango snapper here. We're going to clean him up real quick. This is my absolute favorite fish to eat. 
and it's a fairly easy fish to clean. There you go guys, there's a nice mango snapper fillet. Alright guys, we're in the kitchen. I got my mango snapper fillets right here. And I'll cut them up into little cubes and I can put them into my empanada shells right here. So I'm going to cut this up real quick and take the bloodline out like I always do. We'll discard that. Cut this up into just a little chunks. Like that. Put that in there. And this is my absolute favorite fish, which I have said before. I love mango snapper. But in a couple days, we're going to be doing some fried triple tail. So I didn't want to fry this too. You really can't mess mango snapper up. You really can't. Well, I'm going to finish cutting the rest of this up, and I'll get back with you. All right. So I got my empanada shell right here. I'm going to put a little bit of this onion and pepper mixture I made earlier. Which basically all it is is one onion, some bell pepper, one bell pepper, and this seasoning pack right here. Put a little bit of water, mix it in, and you get this. I'm going to put a little bit of that down. We're going to take a couple pieces of our fish that we cut up, like that. Take some cheese, some Colby Jack cheese. Get it all in the center like that. Then you have to fold it over, like so. Get it connected there. You have to push it in on each side to make a good connection. Same over here. And then once you got it all down, I like to take a fork and press the sides, press the sides in. And to make sure it's sealed good, I like to flip it over and do the same thing. And there you go. There's an empanada. Now take the wax paper off and I'll put it like that so that they don't stick together. So I already made one. So now I got two. So I'm gonna make the rest of these up and then I'll get back with you when it's time to cook them. Alright guys, so I got all my empanadas made. I got 20 of them. So I'll wait till my oil to get hot, get my green light, and then we'll uh, cook them up and see how they taste. All right, guys, my oil's hot. I got my green light. I'm going to put some of these in. One. One there. Two. I don't like putting more than three in at a time. So, I will cook these three up. All right, guys, these are looking pretty good. I ended up putting four in there instead of three. I got so many and my girls are hungry. 
they are looking good. A little bit longer. I already took some out as you can see. Nice and golden brown, looking good. Right, I'm gonna cook the rest of these up and then I'll get back with you guys. Hey guys, all right, we're back. And this is our empanadas. Don't they look good? All right, I'm gonna have my girls taste them real quick. And go ahead. Mm. What do you think, Cheyenne? Bum. Mm. about you, Summer? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna tell y'all that was awesome. I have made those since. I made it with other stuff. I made it with shark. I made it with other fish. I make it with everything: with ground beef, chicken, shrimp. I love empanadas, and those were awesome. All right, y'all. Our next one is with redfish. It was that was summer? Actually, we made a video that day. It was one of the best videos. As far as me looking back and watching it was the day that summer totally came into her own she killed it on redfish and we brought some of those redfish home and we did redfish on the half shell and she helped check this out get him up babe that's a big fish honey that ain't no joke <laughs> summer's got the biggest fish of her life right here guys next to that red that's not a bonnet that's something good honey Oh, 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 oh. Come on, baby girl. Summer's got something good. You are doing so good, honey. Come on, don't let, don't let him. Don't let him. What do you got, baby girl? That's a nice fish. That is a nice fish. What is that? Look at that red fish, Summer. Bring him over here. Nice red fish. Bring him over. That's your first keeper red. Summer! <laughs> High five, Munchkin! Woo, look at that fish! Oh, it hurt. Oh my god, look at this redfish Summer just got, guys. Holy cow. You did so good, kid. Not only well, did she catch the first fish of the day, she caught the fish. Look at that fish. Give me a thumbs up, kiddo. <laughs> Look at that baby. I gotta take a nice picture of that with you. Awesome. Uh, I'm sure. Oh yeah, we got 26 inch red fish, y'all. Awesome, kiddo. Awesome. What a way to start the day. All right, guys, I'm at the cleaning table. I got the nice 26 and a half inch red fish that Summer got. Really nice fish. Look at this tail on this thing. Looks like a little ghost face. Look at that, that thing is crazy. Isn't that awesome? That's pretty cool. Same thing on the other side. So a cool little marking on the tail. Pretty cool. So we're gonna clean this fish. We're gonna leave the skin and the ribs intact. And then we're gonna cook it on the grill. So this is gonna be a quick and easy cleaning session. Basically, you're just going to take the sides off. And then we're going to cook this on the grill. I think we're just going to do something simple. Just some lemon and butter. Maybe a little bit of seasoning. But not a whole lot to it. We're going to keep it kind of simple. So we get the great taste of the redfish. Even though redfish are really not one of my favorite fish to eat. But I do like them on the grill. Make sure when you're running along that backbone, you hear that clicking sound. Get you a point to come through right there. Just run it along that tailbone. Just like that. And what we're going to do here, make sure there's an incision all the way through. Just like that. And we're just going to lift it up, stick our hand in like this. Just push, and we get all that right off that rib cage, just like that. Comes out real nice, y'all. There we go, y'all. Just gonna season these up, put them skin down, 
on the grill and they'll be ready to go all right guys we're at the grill well we were going to do this just a simple way but since summer caught the redfish she said she wanted caribbean jerk style grilled redfish so that's what we're doing today and she's going to help me cook it since she's the one that caught it so we're going to put this on here now summer's just going to move it around paint the filet real good also my little mango fillets here that she also caught she caught everything we kept that day there you go all right she's got those really nice and coated and put a little bit right here all right and we'll put these on the grill now, i apologize for the noise next door we got the concrete factory over here and they're making all kinds of noise a nice fillet on right there. Doesn't that look good, y'all? That's a really nice redfish fillet. Put the mango right there. It smells right. delicious. Yes, it does. What do you think about that? Awesome, huh? All right, guys. Well, we're gonna let this cook. We'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. We're gonna look at it real quick. Oh boy, that looks good. Man, that looks awesome. We'll let it cook for about. 15 20 minutes we'll check it and see how it's doing oh yeah man those are looking awesome y'all mangoes looking good redfish is looking absolutely delicious oh i can't wait to eat this all right guys i'm pretty sure the mango is done so i'm gonna go ahead and take that off real quick oh it's definitely done we're gonna let the redfish cook just a little bit longer. We'll go ahead and put a little bit of this on the mango. I am so sorry for the noise next door, y'all. They are just making so much noise. All right, y'all. I'm gonna test them real quick. Oh yeah, they are done. Oh yeah, all right, we're good now. Now we got storm coming. From this uh, hurricane we got brewing out there, Hurricane Michael. Which, any of you guys in the Panhandle that are subscribers, they're dealing with this right now. My thoughts and prayers are with you guys. Yeah, I really feel for y'all. We went through it a couple years ago with uh, Andrew and uh, Irma, so I feel for y'all, and my prayers are with you guys. I'll turn this off real quick. Turn the grill off. We're just gonna put a little bit of this Caribbean jerk sauce on it. And we're ready to eat. Just like that. Oh man, tell me that don't look good, y'all. Summer had a great idea. Really good idea. Alright guys, it is all done look at that guys tell me that doesn't look absolutely delicious summer had an awesome idea all right let me get her some because she's going to do our taste test y'all well, hey guys our dinner's done this is what we got we got the redfish and some brussels sprouts so uh since summer caught the fish we're gonna let her try first and since this was her idea how to cook it Very good. You like it? Does it taste better because you caught it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does. Awesome. Let me try it real quick. Wow. That is so good. This is by far my favorite way to eat redfish. They're not one of my favorite fish, but when they're grilled like this, they're excellent. I love them. So you guys should really give it a try. Redfish on the half shell. It's really good. Let me tell y'all, that was awesome. I do remember that recipe, and I've actually made that many times since with redfish and other fish. Absolutely delicious. That jerk seasoning is the bomb. It is amazing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just looking back at some of the recipes, a lot of you guys have been asking me for some catching cooks, for some different things. So I was just going through YouTube, looking back at some of my old videos, and seeing that I had a lot of catching cooks back in my first year doing this, they'd only got 
a couple hundred views or less than a thousand views so i figured you know what let's show some light on some of these show you guys some of these recipes and right now i'm actually not fishing because i'm here with amber so i haven't been out fishing this is a good way to make a video and i think you guys will enjoy it so i hope that you did and if you did please leave a comment in the comment section tell me if you like these videos because i have a couple more ideas i'm going to be doing i'm actually going to make another one with my weirdest catching cooks i'm going to do that here pretty soon i might even do one for some shellfish shrimp crabs and stuff like that so let me know in the comment section if you think that's a good idea and I will be seeing y'all really soon. Hopefully on the water. I ain't got my boat though. As you see, boat's gone. See y'all real soon.